good day. This is Cues in Action News live on the campus of Howard University in front of Thurkill Hall. We're here with Brother Rahulamin Kwanda. Brother Kwanda, how are you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. Thank you very much for asking. I'm Rahulamin Kwanda, uh, 264 Alpha Chapter, Mother Pearl, coming up soon to 54 years in the Grand Fraternity Omega Sci Fi. Great. Brother Kwanda, why Omega? Well, why not Omega? Let me say one, from childhood, I won't say childhood, but maybe 12, 13 years old, I began to appreciate uh, the value of some of the men in the family. And I realized that my uncle, Joseph P. Quan, who was also my godfather, um, Theta Psi, West Virginia State, 1931. He was a longtime member, knew all the founders. And then my father subsequently followed into Alpha Omega in 1958. And I met a lot of men that they knew from D.C. and various walks of life, didn't even realize the importance or significance of who some of them were. Lawrence Oxley, for example, is a friend of the family. And um, so as I began to grow a little older and see some of these men and then go to my first conclave, which was in 1959, I met a number of these men. And they say, young fella, are you going to be an Omega man? And I, I said, yes, sir, eventually. And uh, eventually came in April of 1964. And when I look back at some of these men who were in all walks of life making meaningful contributions, E.B. Henderson and uh, uh, Carter G. Woodson and some of these people I, I had the pleasure of knowing, some I, their legacy was so very important. And they, I wasn't attracted just because they were Omega men, they were also Omega men, in addition to all these other things that they had done, and for those of us still with us, that they were doing, and that is what caught my attention. Yeah. So, sir, what, if anything, is Omega culture missing? I think today we need to take a very serious look at where Omega is. Um, I'm impressed by a few words by uh, a Brother Mazik, who said, uh, members versus men as he wrote it we need to put more emphasis upon the quality of who we're bringing in and what they can bring to the fraternity we need to measure them in terms of what they have done so far what omega needs now and in the future and see if these men meet that standard i realize there's some who do not meet the standard and they are not omega material others may need some orientation to get there. And I also think that we uh, have to take it very seriously that the future of the fraternity is depending upon what we do now in terms of values and structure. So I think we need to take a good look at that. Very well said. So Brother Kwanda, what would you say with all your accomplishments, what would you say is your most significant? Well, I would say that um, I believe it's so important to make history in terms of all the things that have happened and are still happening, that this is our foundation in terms of what we need to do. People need to know what Omega men are doing and have done. And I, in, in that interest, I've written my own Omega Sci-Fi memoirs, picking up my 50-plus years in terms of where I have been, what I have done, and stirred in a number of things that have been ongoing in Omega's history. This is not the official history book. This is my memoir which I think is accurate and truthful and it relates to the principles, the cardinal principles, Brother uh, Just, Ernest Just, what the founders have done and particularly picking up the importance of service. Brother Cooper said in the letters here in December 1941 that if he had anything to change in Omega, it would be one thing. He would have formally added service as a cardinal principle and he said it and I agree with him, it's implied and this is all about service because the Divine Nine, all of us, are devoted to service. And I encourage brothers to document, not necessarily at 450 pages and 35 chapters, but to document their own histories and file that with the archives of the, their districts for posterity as we are well into our second century. Great. Well, this is Cues in Action News. We want to thank Brother Kwanda for his time and his 50 plus years in service. Thank you.